Hey everybody, welcome to Honeycomb Manila. My name is Keo and today we are opening up this pair of Air Max 90. Alright, what is good everyone? Welcome back to Honeycomb Manila. If you're not following along on Instagram, I encourage you to do so. I'm at Keo Kosh on Instagram. You can follow at Ajima Mag and at Honeycomb Manila on Instagram. And those are key because we are doing a giveaway here on YouTube for our subscribers and you need to be subscribed on Instagram so that we can DM you and then comment below with your Instagram handle and your t-shirt size so that we can get in touch with you if you win. We're giving away 10 t-shirts at 600 subscribers. All right. Now without further ado, let's open this up. This is the Air Max 90 in the purple colorway. Ooh. Now I wanted to open this up and show you the inside of the box so that you could see how crammed in there they are. This of course is the original packaging that the Air Max 90s came in. And I'll show, I'll talk a bit more about that later, but I just wanted to show right away just how jam packed this box is and how the shoes are just kind of stuck in there. And if you watch, I actually unboxed these already in another video and I couldn't get the shoes back in the box. It took me a while to figure that out. Now, usually I would talk about the outsole first, but there's a little bit of an Easter egg with this shoe. So we'll talk about it last instead. The Air Max 90, this is now 30 years old and designed by Tinker Hatfield. And of course released in 1990. Although at the time they actually called it the Air Max 3. And if you go to sneakers, they're actually launching a new version of this that they're nicknaming the Air Max 3. But this is the Air Max 90 recrafted. And what they've done this year, the anniversary of the Air Max 90, is to revisit all of the old designs of what this shoe used to look like and restore it to the original look and shape of the original Air Max 3 or Air Max 90 when it first came out. So this is the third in the Air Max line. You had the Air Max 1. There was an Air Max 2, which we don't really see anymore. Then you have the Air Max 3 or the Air Max 90. Now, you can really see it on a lot of these panels that they've reshaped it from the common Air Max 90s that we've been getting over the last couple decades. You can notice it very much on this black mudguard or rand that it stays low here in the toe, whereas in other retros, you'll actually see this come up really high. Uh, and this looks much better and much more pointy. And they corrected that, they, cor they corrected the shape of this window, the shape of these thermoplastic sections are, have all been revisited. And then one of the most important parts other than that toe, I would say would be the badge here on the back. The badge is a bit more pointy. The curve is a, li a little bit more radical and that's more true to the OG. Materials wise, it uses a Duramesh, which is the same material that they used when they first launched a sneaker. And it is nice and loose and fluffy, puffy, like it was in the 90s. And that goes all around the main sections of the shoe. And then the tongue is in this like synthetic satiny nylon uh, finish with Air Max here on the square tongue tab. Uh, materials wise, there's nothing here that's premium. There's no real suede. There's no leather. This is all synthetic, which is true to the OG. And then I would say probably the only thing that they, they maybe are doing different on this version versus the OG is these sections that are kind of a felt material instead of being a suede. And I, I just don't know if we had this material in the 90s. So it's hard for me to say if it's the same one. And with leather, with real suede, you can see in the seam area or the edges of the panel if it's real leather. And this is clearly a fabric. And I don't know if this is, if this is true to that, uh, but it does look really nice and fresh. And the whole thing is really light. It irks me a little bit that these are these colors aren't perfectly matched, uh, but it is what it is because this is painted and this is cast in that color. And then white laces, it comes with the white laces. And that brings us to one of the main features of the Air Max 90, which is this adjustable lacing system, which we actually got, I think, in the, in the Jordan 4s, also designed by Tinker Hatfield. And by moving the lacing down just that little bit, it creates a lot more lockdown in this section of the foot. 
And then this little one over here, you can adjust the lacing to be what we call runner's lacing, uh, where you, you loop the lace around and then thread it through the lace. And just that little adjustment of where your lace goes into the top eye holes changes the lockdown from being this direction to pointing it almost directly towards your heel and kind of sucking your heel into the shoe which is awesome if you're running. Now in terms of lifestyle, these are really fresh. For a guy like me, I see these as a nice clean pair of kicks, a nice clean retro. You're not looking at some hype collaboration sneaker here. You're looking at a general release, solid, solid retro. Uh, we have those anatomical arch supports that we got in the Triax. If, you're, if you watched our unboxing of the Triax, they have the same anatomical arch supports. And then I wanted to pull out the insole before we talked about the actual sole. Or maybe let's talk about the actual sole first. So the actual sole is a waffle sole and then you see there are flex grooves here, alternating flex grooves. Purple, of course, the grape color and black running through the center sections. And those just provide a little bit of pop of color showcasing these fins. Now, the fins were in tribute to race cars, I believe. Now, if you did get to watch our unboxing and review of the Air Max 2090, we said that that was retro-futuristic in that it was a tribute. It was designed to look like cars in 2090 as if they were imagined in 1990. And this was also designed to mimic sports cars, except here it looks a bit more like a retro sports car from the 90s. So retro from that time would be around the 70s. I guess and you see the fins here very reminiscent of like Cadillacs and, and fast sport, sports cars of action movies in the 70s and that color makes it all the way down to the outsole. Now on the insole you have a polyurethane insole also in that great color with the Nike Air on the heel and it is perforated to allow some breathability down towards the midsole. Now technology wise there is supposed to be an air pocket here in the forefoot of the Air Max 90. I don't know if it's here in this one, but it is a soft polyurethane there. And then the polyurethane insole also provides a little more extra comfort. Now, a little Easter egg on this Air Max 90 insole is that they've actually cast the shape of the original Air Max 1 on the inside of the of the shoe. I don't know why they did that. It's supposed to be a little Easter egg, but it is cool for being able to compare the outsole of the Air Max 1 to the outsole of the Air Max 90 and you can see the progression of how the technology moved forward between the two in terms of creating traction and creating flex. So that's a nice little heritage touch that you didn't have in the OG, at least to the best of my knowledge. And then you have, of course, that big air bubble and I like how big the air bubble is on this Air Max 90. I didn't mention earlier, but you, aside from the, from the anatomical arch supports, you also get this nice acrylic hang tag that comes with the sneaker, which is a nice premium touch for a sneaker that retails in the Philippines for about 6,000. But we got these on Nike.com on their 9.9 sale for 2,800 pesos, which is a fantastic price for this pair of sneakers, for this pair of retros. You can still get them for around that price. They're doing these sales almost every month now, uh, retail being what it is in the time of a pandemic. Again, those air bubbles are really big, which brings me to a little gripe that I realized that I have with the Triax 96. If you remember, we unboxed these, and I do really like these shoes, don't get me wrong. I love this retro, but the air bubble on the Triax 96 is kind of tiny. And it's, so it's kind of strange to me that, you know, in when this Triax came out in 96, that air bubble was massive. And here it, it seems to be small, but they managed to do the giant air bubble on the 90. And in theory, these are kind of the same Air Max units between the two. I might be wrong, but that's my understanding is that they're almost the same Air Max unit. So with this big air bubble on the Air Max 90, how come they couldn't get the Air Max, uh, the Air Max Triax 96 to have that same big air bubble as it was in the OG? And it looks like the pillars are bigger on the Air Max 90. Uh, between the two, I would definitely choose the Air Max 90. It's just more iconic. But if you, if you have access to only one of the two, neither one is a bad choice. 
All right, so that's it for the Air Max 90. Our quick look, our detailed look actually, at the Air Max 90. It's a shoe I do recommend. They do look really fresh. I think they're super duper tight design-wise. And you know, I think that this is among Tinker Hatfield's greatest hits, especially in this recrafted form, more true to the OG. The, the shape is just so much slicker and so much cooler. All right, now before we move on, I do want to talk about the box because this is the Air Max 90 box and like the Tri-X, it's the original box that it came in with the stripes. And then when you open it up, it says Nike sports shoes are manufactured to the exact specifications of champion athletes throughout the world. And then on the sticker, on the sizing sticker, it says Air Max 90 in the white slash particle gray, uh, which I think is super peculiar because it doesn't say anything about purple. Of course, the box is purple, and if you got you know the shoes in another color, that box would be in that color. But you know, all the parts on this sneaker that are particle gray are also particle gray on a vault sneaker. So, are the stickers all the same? Very confusing to me. And if, you, if you've been following along, I always seem to question these stickers. Here's one that I missed on the Triax, is that this Triax sticker actually says Nike SV on it for no reason, for no apparent reason. I mean, the sticker is stuck on. It, like no Nike SVs have ever come in this box. So it, it, it's strange, it's really strange to me. And I just thought that was a nice little bit of trivia between the two. Again, this is the Air Max 90 in the grape colorway, recrafted. I think that these are perfect, perfect shoes. Wait for a sale, because they will be this same price again soon. Trust me. Uh, unless they come out with the infrared colorway, in which case, pay full retail price for those. That is a, that OG infrared colorway is worth paying retail for. At discount, hard to beat this. And the shape, I think, is perfect. Look at that toe. Look at that toe. Look at that toe. Beautiful, beautiful. All right, so uh, if you're not subscribed, please do subscribe. It means a lot. Click on the thumbs up button. That means a lot. It, it does go a long way for us, believe it or not. That little thing goes a long way. And tell your friends about the show. Share it. It does make, please, that makes a big deal for us. Uh, and we are doing a giveaway. So if you do like, uh, if you do subscribe to our page and follow along on Instagram, I am at Keo Kosho, follow at Ajima Mag, and follow at Honeycomb Manila, our studio here in Double Dragon Plaza. Follow us on Instagram, then comment with your t-shirt size and your Instagram handle to join our contest. Uh, well, it's not really a contest, it's a giveaway. So we are giving away 10 shirts every 100 subscribers, all the way till 1,000, then we have a cool, cause giveaway that's part of our 1,000 subscriber celebration. All right, do you have a pair of these in another colorway? Are they as fresh? Um, I was actually waiting for the grape colorway. The grape colorway is the one that I really wanted, so I'm super glad that the price came down and patience really saved me a little bit of money. Uh, I wish you good luck, I wish you good health. Please, if you're gonna go outside, please wash your hands and wear a mask. All right, peace.